Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all. Yeah, coming at y'all with the hip-hop content. Both of these groups are legendary. Both of these rap groups, whoa, one of these groups is more of like a rap, more of like a rap harmony, like a little bit of R&B style, but they're mainly like a hip-hop group. Compared to the other group, the group is like a group that's full of wordsmiths, full of pure lyricism when it comes down to hip-hop. The two legendary 90s hip-hop groups that I'm going to discuss with y'all, and this is another influential video. Which band, which rap group is more influential, more influential in hip-hop? Bone Thugs and Harmony versus Wu-Tang Clan. Let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me. Engage with me. Like, both of these groups are great groups. Like, Bone Thugs and Harmony, their style is, like, more... I mean, they're... I mean, they be rapping, but Bone Thugs and Harmony... Bone Thugs and Harmony, they kind of, like, have, like, harmonizing songs where they're pretty much, like, harmonizing because Easy e Easy e is the one that came up with the name of the group Thugs and Harmony. They came up with the name Bone, but Easy e came up with the name Thugs and Harmony. Easy e also came up with the name N.W.A. Niggas with Attitudes. But yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony, with the way they with the way they did their music with harmonizing and rapping, Bone Thugs and Harmony, they were different. They were versatile. Wu-Tang Clan, on the other hand, Wu-Tang Clan is like all rapping. They're mainly just a rap group, lyricism, like bar for bar lyricism. Like Wu-Tang Clan is full of wordsmiths. But, but yeah, let's chat. Let's have a discussion about this. Which rap group do you feel is more influential when it comes down to hip hop? Bone Thugs and Harmony versus Wu-Tang Clan. I'm going to give you my answer. Both of these groups are amazing, but I feel even when it comes down to who, which group is more influential, I'm going to go with Wu-Tang Clan. Now, I would even say that Wu-Tang Clan is a better rap group than Bone Thugs and Harmony, but even with the influence, yeah, the influence in hip hop, I say Wu-Tang Clan is, yeah, when it comes down to who's more influential, Wu-Tang Clan. But Bone Thugs and Harmony is great. I'm a huge fan of both of these rap groups. Like Bone Thugs and Harmony, I pretty much got like, I think, yeah, 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 Bone Thugs and Harmony, like I got their albums on Spotify. And just like with Wu Tang Clan, Wu Tang Clan, both of their classics back from the 90s, Enter the Wu Tang 36 Chambers, and then their album Wu Tang Forever. I got both of those albums on Spotify. Both of those albums are classics. But yo, yeah, I feel that Wu Tang Clan is more influential when it comes down to hip hop. But Bone Thugs and Harmony, they was different. Bone Thugs and Harmony, they brought they they pretty much had brung some uniqueness to the hip hop culture, you know, like they pretty much like showed and like as a rapper, as a lyricist, instead of just rapping, you can also harmonize, which that's a beautiful thing. You know, what I mean, the, with, with the name Harmony, I mean, Easy e knew what he was doing when he came up with the name Thugs and Harmony, because with the way they would like harmonize in their music and their raps like Bone Thugs and Harmony, what they brought to hip hop was uniqueness. But yeah, when it comes down to influence, I do feel that like, I do feel that like Wu-Tang Clan is more influential than Bone Thugs and Harmony. But let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, my fellow hip hop fans, my fellow Bone Thugs and Harmony fans, my fellow Wu-Tang Clan fans. Which group do you feel is like more influential? Bone Thugs and Harmony or Wu Tang Clan, but yeah, I mean, but yeah, like even when Wu Tang Clan had first came out, Wu Tang Clan was different because you know with them being influenced by Kung Fu films, like with with the samples and and some of the songs, just like in the song Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with, like RZA, he pretty much like has some of like the samples and some of the 
kung fu films like you know like the like tiger style because even in, in even in the movie that the rizza had did the man with the iron fist like there was a scene in the movie where like a fighting scene where the person that he was fighting was like saying tiger style like yeah, he got it from one of the Kung Fu films. But yeah, like they, they became influenced by Kung Fu films, like films like Shaolin versus Wu-Tang. But yo, yeah, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me. And again, you know, as a YouTuber, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of hip hop. I'm a fan of both of these groups. I know people may tend to get in their feelings. I mean... I know when I had did my my take on Nas album King's Disease 3, some people felt I was disrespecting Nas when I was saying that Nas is better than Kendrick Lamar. You know, what I mean, I, I, I get it. I get it. This is what comes down with being a YouTuber and with being an artist. But I don't care what people have to say or think about me. And if and if you somebody that's that's thinking about starting up a YouTube channel this year, and, you know, don't don't worry about what people have to say or think about you, because that's a part of being a YouTuber. Keep going and just do you. But, yeah, which group do you feel is more influential? Bone Thugs and Harmony versus Wu-Tang Clan. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new track, The Lone Wolf Freestyle, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.